Hello and good afternoon. It's uh, Tuesday. <laughs> it's a happy Tuesday. Hope it's a happy day for you too. Nice to see you. It's very windy today actually, outside obviously, I mean. Um, so I've got two loads of washing out, just FYI. Nice to see you. My name's Esther and this is Stampin' Star Creations. Today the uh, UPS man gave me a visit and can I just say, like, I don't know if all delivery drivers do this, they ring the doorbell and they don't give you a chance to get to the door. He was already packing it away in the garage and I opened the door. It's like, oh, I thought you weren't here. And I was like, I don't drive. So just because the car's not in the driveway doesn't mean I'm not inside. Anyway, will they learn their lesson? Who knows? Who knows? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. UPS man bought me some goodies. I took advantage of the free postage day. Sorry if you missed it. I did warn you. Uh, so I saved myself some pennies on the postage and decided to buy a few things from Stampin' Up. So I happen to have a new stamp set on my desk. This one's called Full of Love. Now I was eyeing it up and I think I ended up by um, using some stamping rewards. So if you spend £150 with stamping up, you it, yeah, that's the threshold you want to look at. Entitles you then to stamping rewards, which is 10% um, more off to spend, 10% of your order to spend. Does that, does that sound right? Yeah. Let's get down to the crafting. <laughs> well, I'm back on my old device. Um, just to see, I don't know, see if it helps, see if it helps with the um, Wi-Fi. <coughs> so we shall see how we get on. Although I can't see anything, so I can see things. I just can't see comments. So I'm just going to call myself up on the other device. If I can. There I am. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, do say hello if you've come on. Right, this is full of love. It is a rubber stamp set, and I've just taken the liberty to go ahead and put the stickers on the back. The stickers do come separately, you have to stick them on yourself. And if you've not seen the easiest trick to do that, if you stick your sticker to the block first and then attach it to the stamp, it's the easier way of doing it. So, like I said, I'm not even stamped this yet that's how fresh it is so let me just grab myself a black ink pad which I've packed away for my class on Thursday and it's got some really cute images in this so I did have an idea to make my own envelope <laughs> I thought we could use this image but also like make our own envelope um I've gone for this new celebration paper so Starting from July, the celebration starts, which means with every £45 purchase, you can get your hands on some goodies. And this paper is one of those. And look at that. So you've got gold and silver, you've got stripes and dots, a really lovely generic um, batch of paper. Um, you get 24 sheets in total. And because of the nature of this paper, you can actually colour it in which why why not let's do that shall I colour it in for you I've just got um one of my blending brushes here and I'm not going to add any more ink because it kind of keeps the ink not kind of it tends to keep the ink soaked into the brush so I'm just going to use whatever is on the the brush just show you what it looks like if it's inked up Okay, actually I think I do need some more ink. I'm just going to grab Starry Sky. Hi everybody, I'm like miles away, come back down. Come back down to earth. Such a gorgeous rich colour. Starry Sky. Oh, uh, why not? I'm going to just colour in the whole thing because it's... One is a small piece of paper, and two, I'm not quite sure where the fold will be when I come to do this. So, there we go. And you can still see the gold thread. I'm just going to grab my rag, my dirty rag, and I'm just going to buff that up so that where there's any gold lines, 
there's no ink on it there we go so hello everybody lovely to see you i'm just going to sign back into my see if i can see the comments hello Rini, uh, renee <laughs> renee valerie lorraine lisa and vicky nice to see you so to make a little envelope i did have to look online quickly fold it diagonally and you make a crease in the middle <clears throat> i should have said that this is three inches by three inches and then turn it and then just do the same so you've got uh, a center mark and then you might just want to mark it with a, a little dot so you know where the center is or where you so you guys can see the center then we're going to grab a corner thank you for the love hearts i don't seem to be having all my comments through not for some reason oh there we go hi levine i refreshed and then levine popped in <laughs> It's worth doing. Um, we've got Vicky from South Australia. Welcome, Vicky. Got we usually have another Vicky on. Now we've got Vicky Parker. Welcome. Just show if this is your first time. So I'm gonna. I think I'm doing this right. Yeah. You meet the diagonal cor corners into the centre position, and then this piece here i thought it had to just go there but it's got to go beyond you want it to kind of not why do i keep saying kind of you are not kind of you do you want it to reach up here somewhere so i'm just going to put the ruler for my positioning like so so then you've got a nice fold there and then you want to tuck this back a bit I'm just going to tuck it towards me first, a little bit of origami here, and then I'm going to tuck it forward. And then this can tuck in there, and you can glue that down and hold the envelope together. How cute is that? So super simple and easy. Now you can round off the top if you'd like. What have I got here? Mm, I've got a different corner rounder. I think I've saved my other one, which is now retired. There we go. Let's get the corner rounder on there. So it'll feed through. Yeah, nice. Look at that. Very cute indeed, as Valerie said. Okay, so I'm going to just untuck this and figure out where I want my glue to go. So you want a bit of glue on the edges and a little bit on the top there. Nice and easy, tuck it under, fold it back in, there, cute or what, right, so then, I think what I'm going to do is, hopefully, this is about the same size, good, so let's stamp our flower image. Now there's different ways of doing this. You can have the flowers, cut them out and tuck them into the envelope. Or if you um, cut the back off here, you could have the stamp the flowers directly onto the card. But I think I would like the flowers to come out of the envelope for this one. So... Let's go ahead and stamp these. If you want to give me some colour suggestions. Now, I've pressed quite hard. I've got a halo around the edge. If this happens to you, don't be scared to cut your rubber. Okay? Now, it might mean that I've pressed too hard, but this is excess rubber and you can cut it off. So, I was going to say that this stamp set is probably great for beginners. And if they don't get great results first time, it could be off-putting. So, I'm just going to snip away a bit of rubber in the hope that next time I stamp this, that would avoid the halo. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm trying to clear my throat without <coughs> clearing it. But uh, <laughs> it's not happening. Okay. So if you've got any colour choices, do shout. So we've got our starry sky envelope. Let me know what colours you'd like to go with this. I think I'm just going to use a bit of starry sky in the flowers itself and then if any suggestions come through you can just let me know in the comments 
So I've not figured out yet how I'm going to cut this out, but I'll do what I can. I don't know why comments don't seem to be showing up annoyingly. Let me just turn this. Hmm. Right, there's a few of you on here. Let me know what colours you'd like. Sweet sorbet, says Levine. We could do some sweet sorbet. Any other colour suggestions? So these are um, alcohol markers. So they dry really quickly, but the great thing about this is they can blend as well. A yellow colour, says Valerie. Valerie, can you remind me where you are in the world? Because Stampin' Up! have just given us hot off the press information that they are soon to come to the Republic of Ireland and Belgium. So, watch this space because it's very exciting. It's hot off the press news, I'm sure I'm allowed to say. <laughs> Hi Heidi! Um, and more news is yet to come on it, but uh, I'm sure it said that we're allowed to to um, tell customers and downline. Just in time for the gnome suite. <laughs> I haven't got it, Heidi. Can you tell me where I can find the paper, please? Do you mean this stripy gold and silver paper, Lorraine? So, <clears throat> Lorraine... Are you are you UK based? So I'm happy to send out catalogues to England, France, Germany, Austria and the Netherlands. And there's a new catalogue that's just been released. And um oh the the Irish can buy the gnome suite, I see. Yes. Lorraine, if you message me, where's my little paper? Let me just grab my paper. Um and Message me your details, and I, I need to send out some posts today. So, uh, we'll get some posts ready. So email me at stampinstarcreations at gmail dot com, and I can send you out a catalogue. And then you also get a celebration catalogue, which shows you your free items with every forty five pounds purchase. Okay. So um, Valerie requested a yellow, so we'll go for a nice bright daffodil colour. Um, let's do these. So your £45 purchase doesn't just have to be in the new mini catalogue. It can be in the annual catalogue as well, or a mixture of both. Okay, it just has to be a qualifying order. Got a nice bright card going on here. I suppose that one's technically a yellow flower as well. It's nice to use bright primary colours. Sometimes I think we shy away from the bright colours. So the joy of colouring is there are various methods of colouring. You don't have to have alcohol markers. But I do love using them for colouring. You can use, oh, Claire snuck in. I think she's supposed to be at work. <laughs> you can use, um, I've lost my tra train of thought. Should we stick within colours? Should we do a green? Um, you can use watercolour pencils. You can use a blender pens. Um, This is the parakeet parte. And what I love about the alcohol markers is I feel like I don't need to be like a colourist or an artist to use them. Because you're given two colours, a dark and a light. Now you can mix them. You can obviously mix the colours. You're not restricted to just using the same two colours. But because they give you a dark and light, it's really easy to accomplish um, a good result. 
with what they give you. So I'm tempted to, hmm, let's just cut it out and see. Let's cut it and see. So here's my little envelope I made earlier. I'm going to see if we can tie these two together somehow. Oh, that's cute. Okay. I'm just going to do a quick bit of fussy cutting. So because this is outside the envelope, we want to cut the cut that. Just leaving myself a tab so that I can stick it inside. Is everyone having a good day? You've got your washing out. <laughs> We've had a uh, a busy weekend. We've been dog sitting this weekend for a friend, and um, it's quite strange not having him around still. It was jolly hard work, but he's good fun and he was very loving. And. Uh, feel like I got to know him even more. Bless him. So I've known him since he was puppy. I've not seen him for a long time, but I have known him since he was teeny tiny. There we go. Oh, hi, feet. Yes, love a bit of fussy cutting. <laughs> so there we go. I like that. That's cute. So if we tuck it in there, you can see the top of the... See the top of the envelope. Okay, I just had another idea. So, what I'm going to do now, I did a card recently, a Christmas card, I've not got it to hand. Let me just go and grab it. So, if you are into wanting to make Christmas cards early in projects, then do join us over at the Christmas Stampathon 2022 page on Facebook. And um, this is here. To, to branch out a bit with the oh just trying to reconnect so don't feel that you're limited to a space you can branch out is what I was going to say so I'm going to get my ink again and just stamp where the flowers roughly are I'm going to just extend the flowers out here And out here, in the hope that I was able to cover that up. Okay, that works for me. I like that. Okay. I'm wondering whether to add a bit of blue. Maybe to the bottom half. <laughs> Major finger smudge over here. Major finger smudge. Okay. So let's sort out our smudge. And um, we can grab ourselves a strip of card. Don't need it to be that mahusive. Sending love your way, that's nice. Just gonna cut down my strip. The red flower would be lovely handing up hanging outside the envelope. Yes. I've just you've just given me another idea saying that. I'll just um down a bit more. So what you can then do is um, mm, it doesn't come out all the way does it that red flower. Let's see what we can do. So come back with our dark. 
streets all bare. So with, with colouring, I tend to follow the lines. You know, if there's lines there to be followed, follow the lines. Uh, Levine says, love the idea. I was looking at this stamp set. I think it's just, I think it's just really cute, really different. I think when I did study it closely because I just think it might appear to be a little bit limiting to what you can do with it. But I think, like I said, for particularly beginner stampers, this is a nice one because you can kind of just stamp and go. But there are a few things you can do with it. Yes, I was going to fussy cut around this. See, me and Valerie are thinking the same thing to make this one pop a bit more. I don't think I've picked up my sharpest scissors. Let's just swap them over. Oops. I don't seem to be able to catch up on comments on the other screen. There we go. So uh, at the moment there is a, I think the promotion is still happening in June for the in colours. So these colours, if you sign up to be on my team with Stampin' Up or if you want to choose me as your demonstrator, then you can get all the in colours. I think it's the ink pads and papers, lots of other goodies. Um, <clears throat> but then during July there's another promotion and I've actually got myself the planner which comes with that promotion so I think I'm going to do an unboxing over on on YouTube in a, uh, maybe after this so what were we thinking Valerie to do like a decoupage and have that coming out over there like that maybe Is there another stamp that has the same flower in it? There's this one which is similar, but it's smaller. So you could maybe do another one on the top like that to disguise it. But um, I'll leave it there for now. I'm gonna have, well, let's just use that nice blue color. Shall we, or should we have black? Let's have black, so it's in keeping. Yep, we'll add a dimensional to it. Now this has been cut off the machine in a very strange way, so try. Oh, very blobby. <laughs> Let's try again. Got a little bit of smudges on that. But we can disguise that as well. I was thinking you cut around the one and left the bottom sit outside the envelope. I was thinking you cut around the one, cut around one and left the bottom sitting inside the envelope. So put that one in there. Cut around one. But are you saying you thought it was a whole flower? Is that what you meant? You've got to try and interpret what people are thinking and saying on this channel. <laughs> You've got to try and understand text, it's not always easy. So it also comes with these cute little flowers and I think I might just add some on the outside to add a bit more of that blue colour. There we go, cut around the petal a tad more. The one in the bunch, have that one sticking out, did you mean? So let's go back and leave that. Um, uh, you cut around the one and left the bottom sit outside the envelope. The bottom of this one sit outside the envelope. I know, yes, I... I get you, but then I thought if I did that, if I had another one, it'll make it look even more three D. <laughs> so you hook it over the paper edge more, 
the bottom of it hook over the paper edge more. Like that? Or do you mean the bottom petal? Anyway, let's get sticking. I right, we will be here all day. I'm trying to understand what you mean. <laughs> Just going to run a little bit of ink on the edges of this to make it tie in with what we've done already. What, round off the bottom of the petal? Is that what you're saying? So cut around that whole bottom petal and hook it around the edge of the paper. So hook the bottom of this around the edge of the paper. Because this has got a sharp edge, I didn't want to have it hanging over. Hook it over the top of the envelope. But what about this, the, the pointy petal? That's what I'm wondering about. What did you mean? You didn't mean on the side, did you? Oh, you guys. You guys are confusing me. <laughs> it's so difficult to try and explain. I just think because I, I can't understand what you're saying because it's got the if you're watching this on YouTube guys they're all trying to explain to me what I should be doing with that red flower um saying about hooking it over the envelope but I think because it's got a sharp edge I'm not quite sure so the one with the sharp edge tuck that behind and have the other two hanging over the edge like this like how I had it I think we're basically on the same wavelength, but we're both sort of interpreting it all differently. I think that's what's going on here. <laughs> okay, so let's get sticking down. So you're basically saying I don't need this tab here, I think is what you're saying. But I'm going to use that as some reinforcement to stick. So you still have to cut it more so it hangs better. The one that's in the envelope. Do you, the one that I, the big one that's fine I've cut this one now I'm gonna go with this I'm gonna go with it because once you cut that shape once you cut the flower then it, it cut it um, the envelopes in the way the three bottom petals hanging outside but then you see the you see the, the that V shape. That's what I'm saying. So I think it looks odd because you see this sharp V bit here. <laughs> Either one you use, it still needs a bit of cutting. She says. Right, let's go around it with a pen, and then it won't need cutting anymore. What to round it off? You mean? round it off so it doesn't look such a sharp V shape. Is that what you mean? Right, I'm going for it. This is going to stick in here. And I can turn that one slightly maybe. I reckon it still needs a bit more cutting, but I'm going to leave it as it is because I want to show people what you can... Look, I can just tuck it in there. It'll be fine. And also, you know, I don't know. don't quite get what you're saying. <laughs> On top of the V, you need to cut it a little bit more. So when you tuck the V in behind the envelope, it will hide the V better. Oh, wow. Well. That will do, donkey, that will do. <laughs> Too complicated for a Tuesday. 
They're all screaming at my screen. Oh, I've gone a bit too low. Never mind. Just make it how you think. It looks great, <laughs> says Lisa. Texting can be so frustrating to get out the opinion sometimes. And I'm the worst person to try and translate it as well. So there you go. Okay, let's move on. Let's get a piece of card to stick it. Oh, no, that's light of navy. I don't think I've cut myself. Or oh, have I? Let's have a look. No, I've only got a base card. I've not actually cut any card. Let's have a look. An audition. Oh, blue on the green. Hello. Hello, you look nice. I quite like that. That's a bit of a surprise move. Okay, so let's cut this down a bit. Um, try and cut it down a smidge. And let's just do it. Let's see what happens. See what happens. In fact, I'm just going to cut down a little bit on this side because it does look a bit odd. And then been a bit naughty and not measuring. Oh look, that was there. Okay, and then we're going to cut a chunk out. Now, remind me, ladies and gents, why do I cut the middle out? Why do I gut my card? You should all know by now if you've been watching me long enough. But I say it anyway, just in case people don't know. Why is Esther cutting a big chunk out of her card for? Why is she destroying it? Let's grab some harakipate to save paper. Well done. What's the other reason? We save paper and... I'm glad you're listening, Heidi. You listen to me? <laughs> Sorry, not to the stand there. So for the purpose of this card, I think I'm going to do my card this way up because it might be a little bit top heavy. So scoring at 10.5 and, and cutting at 14.85, such a random number. The weight, well done Levine. To make it, to save on card and so it's not too, um, too bulky. Those are the two reasons why it's a good idea to cut out the card. And Vicky got it as well. So, oh, I mean, what a striking colour combo, right? I mean, if you're going to send love your way, love somebody's way, you want it to be bright and cheery. You don't want it to be boring and bland. Do you know what else I'd like to put on here? Um, I'll show you in a minute. Let's try and squash down that paper a bit. Okay. And let's get out the... Oh, what about... What about us? What about? Could colour this in, couldn't we? Hold on a minute. It's evolving. The card is evolving. Um, can I get this? crinkle seam binding ribbon and because it's white we can use alcohol markers on it and it'll colour it in nicely with whatever colour you want we're going to use the green the parakeet sometimes it stiffens up the ribbon a bit but you can just 
still use it. I'm going to do a little bow. Oh, Naveen's just had a delivery. Did I send my UPS driver on to you? I said, by the way, Levine's waiting for an order. So you might want to go to her next. <laughs> I think it'd take a bit longer to, to get to me, to you, Levine. Could stick it in there. Could stick it on the side. Oh, it bothers me that red and green together, though. Not a big fan of those colours sitting next to each other, I must admit. But for the purposes of this card, I will let it go. <laughs> Because I look, think it looks a bit funny tucked behind there. Yeah, just I think it's kind of fluorescent colours against red. It makes me cringe a little bit. <laughs> so just me. <laughs> oh, Wendy's got hers. The UPS man is working hard. He's flying around the country. Red, red and green are lovely. Look at nature. It's not red and green per se. Like I'm happy doing Christmas cards in red and green. It's the fluorescentness <laughs> of the colour that makes me cringe. Okay, moving on swiftly. We're moving on, moving on up. I want to just get out these cute little hearts. Cute little love hearts. And let's paint the I've not used many of these pearly ones so now because these are 3d you want to get around the edges with your blender pen don't forget the edges and you can color these in and it's as if they're like permanent marker it will you do need to give it a little of a chance to try but um, you can colour them in and they stay coloured. So let's try and cover up our boo-boos. Sending love your way. Now normally I'd have this up amongst the flowers, but I just think to hide my boo-boo I need to just put something down here. I feel like having some little hearts in there as well, or something a bit red. Let's have a look. <coughs> Maybe I should do some little red flowers as well. Oh, where's Shami? Drying out a bit my chamois. So you could just add water to your chamois. Nice and quick and easy. <laughs> this is very dry. It's not even cleaning my stamp, it's so dry. Just add water to it. Just add water. Okay, just feels like that red is like floating down here a bit. So I'm just going to come in and just tuck in a few elements. Whoopsies. <laughs> Whoops. More boo-boos. It's okay. It's okay. We just ignore the boo-boos. We just ignore those. And we say, guess what? It's a handmade card. Can't expect perfection from me. Gonna bug me though. <laughs> mm. Right. They're sending love your way. Oh, something sticky. So if we just add a bit of maybe if we just do a little bit of splats. Might just help to just Spread the love, put a bit of green, I feel like I've got a glue dot on me somewhere, something keeps sticking, have a little bit of 
cream. Yeah. Um, oh, why not? Might as well just have a bit of red. Just a tiny, <laughs> she says, a tiny bit of splash. <laughs> and then, because we're here now, we might as well do the yellow. Ta-da! And step away from the card. Here we go. There we go! How fun and bright and cute is that? We're having a party up in here. There we go! So, I showed you how to make a cute envelope, how you can adapt a stamp set to suit your needs, how we can colour in some ribbon and embellishments. There's so much you can do with stamping and paper crafting. Don't limit yourself. Don't think that it's only one-sided. You could do so much with it and you know, just for a few minutes of the day, you can take yourself off and just absorb yourself into crafting. Um, and it's great. Very pretty, Esther, says Tracy. Thank you. Very cute, says Heidi. Loving this card, says Levine. And Fee, thank you, guys and girls. Guys and dolls. <laughs> thank you. Um, first play with the sunset, so I'm quite pleased with how that's come out. And I'm looking forward to playing with it some more. So um, I might just clear my desk and do a quick run through of the planner that could be yours if you're not already signed up with Stampin' Up and you want to be part of my team or want to become a demonstrator. Don't feel that you need to do lives. You don't need to be your own best customer. OK, so please don't feel that, you know, avoid it. If you're thinking about spending about £99, it's a really good time to sign up because you get more than that. You get more for your money when you sign up. So thank you so much for sticking around with me. I'll be back on your screens tonight over on YouTube. Just to give you a heads up for the future, like thinking September, um, my days are likely to change with my um, social media. So I think what will happen is Thursdays are going to be my Facebook lives and I think I'm going to stick with my Tuesday evenings for YouTube, but we'll see how it goes. Um, Heidi loves my top. This is my bright lemon top. I love it. It's just a little bit clingy in places. <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> thank you for joining me. Please do catch me later. I'd love to see you again if you haven't had quite enough of me yet. Take care and God bless and I'll load this video onto YouTube if you're not on Facebook. Okay, take care and God bless. Bye for now.